guys, we're watching another episode of the channel. No, ev- stop saying episode. It's an upload, bro. Watching the upload on the channel. Today we're watching whose girlfriend is the most attractive. And I'm going to be honest. Look at all these pretty smiles. Hey, bro. <laughs> it's going to be a good episode. <laughs> They're not wearing shoes. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Um, yeah, you guys, I go subscribe to the button and I love you. Oh, brother, here we go with this beautiful shit. Look, bro. He's trying to be nice. Yeah, whatever. See, ew. Already, she's a zero. When I first saw this, I thought that she was cool. I thought that she was pretty, but... It, it's something about looking at a girl and she's, like, really, really pretty. And you're like, damn, she's really pretty. And then someone says, oh, you're really pretty. Or you say, oh, you're really pretty. And she says, I know. Ugh, it, it's like zero now. It, it, it's so weird, like... I guess that's what an ick feels like, huh? Ew. Thank you, sir. But I gotta be brutally honest. My guy. Okay, thank you. You have to rank yourself against others based on... They're all bad. Well... Not all of them. Majority of them, though. Four out of five are. You already know the middle one's pretty as fuck. You, you know damn well that middle one's pretty as fuck. Wait, wait, you're having your boyfriend rank you with a bunch of other girls in attractiveness. I'm gonna have to slide in one of these girls' DMs because most definitely some of them broke up. Come on, uh, go up. Hi, my name is Ajane. I'm 23 and I'm a mindset coach in Sacramento. Yeah, she's pretty. Sophia, bad as shit, bro! Ah! <sighs> my fault. I'm Sky, I'm 21, I'm a full time student, and I'm also getting my body. Damn it! Oh, she has such an amazing name, and she's so pretty, bro. But, like, ugh. It's like, ugh, you know? Ugh. I would define attractiveness by something that. Oh, wait, hold on, let me go, let me go. How do I define attractiveness? There, girl. <laughs> Well, she's gotta have black hair, right? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. The philosophy that I live by, that every code, that every man should live by, you know, every man has a code in their life, you know? It's not over till it's over, that's one code. Protect the innocent, that's another code. You know, really good codes. Mine is, if you cute, you cute, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you cute, you cute. You know what I'm saying? And all these girls are cute. You know? But my type, bro, how you define attractiveness? I'm gonna go first, ladies. Thank you. I define attractiveness, have a nice ass smile. You have black hair, like like this kind of hair, that's really long. But like this kind of like style, texture, whatever, but like this length. Don't care, as long as it's black hair. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> black hair, nice ass smile. Um, pretty eye. I don't mind a pretty eye. I don't mind that. You gotta have style, right? Like this right here, clean. This right here, no. You know, this right here, clean. This right here, mid. This right here, clean, clean. Um, but yeah, you gotta have style. Nice smile. You gotta have black hair. You gotta have black hair. That's like majority. That's like rule number uno. Um, and then like you gotta be nice. You have to be really nice. I'm not talking about like attractiveness. Like, you just have to be, like, really sweet. Dude, I love nice girls, but I love sweet girls. But you know what's funny? Is that people like enemies to lovers trope. Like, they're, like, saying, oh, you, you fucking idiot or you stupid bitch. Like, bro, why would I want somebody to be mean to me? Like, when I was a kid, girls would be mean to me all the time. And people would say, that means that they like you. No, I'm pretty sure they just fucking hated me, bro. I'm pretty sure they hated me, bro. Because why the fuck are you calling me an idiot and stupid when I'm literally trying to ask a question to the teacher? It's weird. There's a difference between finding somebody attractive and finding somebody pretty. Finding someone attractive is like you, 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 you want them, you know? You want to be near them. You want them to be yours, you know? Not in a creepy way. 
But if you find them pretty, it's like, like, she's pretty. I'm not attracted to her, but she's pretty, you know? Now you're a zero. It says money, right? It's just so funny. <laughs> it, look, I also like a woman that's humble. Like, I'm not saying you need to say you're ugly. I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying that. But I'm also not saying you need to say that you're pretty. I'm just saying, be humble in yourself. Like, you don't see me go around saying, you don't see me say I'm the best Pokemon player in the world. Now, 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 that's for, now listen, right? That's for, let me start the video. That's cute. So my boyfriend hit me up in his words. I slid in his DMs. He says, I believe he does think I'm attractive. And he's the one who did the first move. See, baby girl. See, baby girl. I wouldn't treat you like that. I what the fuck, bro? I wouldn't treat her like that, though. I'd be like, yeah, girl, you know. Uh, we can go out on Pokemon. I'm going to stop with fucking Pokemon. Hey, I what? We're at the burger saloon. See, <laughs> it's just funny. Oh, look at Mark. He's so adorable. Pause. That's so cute! Bro, I'm a sucker for cute shit, bro. I'm a sucker for cute shit. Let me see a kitten, I'm loving it to death. Let me see a little baby, I'm loving it. Bro, I love cute shit, bro. See? It's like you! All of them are zeros now! All of them are zeros! Okay, hey, girl power, right? Confidence is amazing. Confidence is key for both genders. I'm here for it. For everyone, let me say everybody, because confidence is key, right? Uh, let me not dig myself a hole here. But yeah, I think I think having confidence is really nice. Um, it's especially nice to see in women, but there's a difference between having confidence in yourself and then there's a difference between that and then using it for Something that it's not supposed to be used for. Like, for example, I'm gonna, I'm trying to think of a good analogy because whenever I come with analogies, people are like, that doesn't make any sense. It makes total sense, but I'm just using different shit. That's the point of an analogy. It's about the principle of the matter. Like if I have energy, right? It's my confidence. If I have confidence and I put it into myself and I'm, you know, doing it and I'm having confidence in things that I do in my life. I have confidence in when I speak to people, when I talk about my ideas, I have confidence in uploading videos. That's confidence in myself. But some people, we're talking about women, some women, you know, they have that confidence in themselves, but they, they when some women have that confidence, but they don't put it to the, for themselves. They have that confidence, but then they put it out there and they try and let everyone know that they have confidence and confidence, confidence, confidence. You know what sucks is that I know exactly, whenever someone asks me a question, I have ADHD. I'm almost positive I have ADHD. But whenever someone asks me a question, I know the answer. But if they say, how do you get there? Like, walk me through your answer. I can't. My brain literally goes so fucking fast that I don't know how I got there. And that's where the girls not rank themselves from least to most attractive. All right, you know, the first five fucking minutes, hold on, let me see. First five minutes, they're gonna be saying, oh, uh, well, no, I need to be back here because I'm not that pretty, or, oh my gosh, no. Like, you know, 
But um, I bet you it's going to take five minutes. So it's at, it's at three. Okay. And two, two minutes. No, three minutes. Because we're at 2.50. And it's at 5.50. All right, three minutes. Okay, Yeah, she's clean. But like, ew! Like, ew! It's so nasty! Look at this, bro. Look. You you would look <laughs> ew! You would look at a girl, right? And you'd be like, damn, like she's really pretty. Look at her hair, look at her style. She looks sweet. Someone says, I like your outfit, and then she does this. Now, 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 look, listen, listen. I I pause like 90 times, and I'm loud, too bad. There's a difference between joking around and being like, yeah, I know, you know. She's dead ass, okay? There's nothing wrong with, like, being like, yeah, I have the best outfit here. There's nothing wrong with that. Because sometimes it's inevitable, right? Someone's going to have the best outfit. Someone's going to be the... She's the best looking. I'm sorry. Not her. It's either, it's either one... It's one of these two. But somebody is the best looking in a room. It's possible. Beauty is subjective. I just want to say that first. Um, so these videos are completely stupid. But here I am watching it. Here I am reacting. Here you are watching it too. But um, I forgot my train of thought. Hey, is she tell me? Okay, okay, she's kidding. She's kidding. Let me, let me, let me rate these girls real quick. I kind of like this order. Wait, I think these. I think they're both the same kind of attractiveness to me. She's definitely five. <sighs> Fuck. I like this order, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, I do like this order. I like her, I like this girl, I like her energy. She looks nervous, bro, she looks very nervous. Yo, never mind, I'm not gonna say that. What did she just say, bro? I think men, as a, as a whole, need to really calm the fuck down. Like seriously, like when I say that, I'm not saying like, oh, you guys need to, like I'm not saying it just to say it, I'm saying it like seriously. There are a lot of women that get sexually harassed just cause, just cause the way they look, like yeah, they're pretty. You can compliment them, but you know, there's a difference between complimenting and catcalling. Complimenting and harassing, like there's a difference between the two. And like, I'm almost positive a lot of guys do know the difference. Like, we're dumb, yeah, but we're not idiots, you know? Some of them probably know the difference, some of them don't. But I think it's just the, I don't know. It, it's so nasty to see as a dude that has common sense. Because then women generalize all men and it's like, why are you generalizing all men when not all of us do it? I understand why they do it, but it's like, why are you doing it, you know? <laughs> she said you scare me. What the flip? Can we get on with this, please? Thank you, whoever, thank you, director. That's what we're doing. We're not going off a PhD Olympics. No, bro, we're going off of what you look like, okay? This is the world, this is what you look like. Definitely number one for me. Yeah. Love you guys. No question. Yeah. I think number two, I swear, yeah. Get back here, girl. <laughs> oh, it's so ugly. Yeah, there's just a different scale. Like her personality, A1. A1, I like it. She's humble, she's humble in herself. Like, when you say, when I say my definition of being humble, cause I feel like there's, I feel like there's definitely different definitions or different ways humble can be seen. The way I see it is to be humble is to, because you can't look at somebody and, and you can't look at somebody and just know, oh yeah, that's a humble person, you can't. 
It's based on their actions and the things that they say as to why they're being humble. As you can see, she never said that she was better than anybody. She never said that she was worse than anybody. She's just, she has confidence in herself. She knows, she knows herself, she loves herself. She's got a boyfriend, who the fuck cares? My definition of being humble is you don't compare yourself to anybody, whether it's good or bad. My definition of being humble is knowing yourself, knowing your worth, knowing who you are as a person, and being content with that, no matter what it is. That's what being humble to me is. Women, and they all have something going on in their lives too. I just feel like I'm, I'm okay with, with what they set me at. <laughs> You know what? I have an idea. We can hold Here we go. Hands in the <laughs> See, then they do stupid shit like this. It's, it's just because they don't want to, they just don't want people to feel bad. And that makes sense. Honestly, bro, if I was up here, I'd be doing all this. I'd be like, nope, zero, uno, dos. And I might get placed last. And that's okay because I am humble. I'm okay with that. I am not the most attractive guy in the world. But yeah, you know, it, it's okay, bro. You're not going to be Vinny fucking hacker. Vinny is, Vinny. Now I'm not gay, right? There's nothing wrong with being gay, okay? I have never kissed a guy. I've never done anything with a guy. I've never seen a guy with a sexual, I've never I've never wanted to be with a guy sexually. I've never ever wanted to do anything with a guy like that. However, I'm kidding. You're, he's gay! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, put that headphones on right now. She is gorgeous, bro. with the blue socks just because she is tall and I'm like five seven. I'll go four, three, two, one. <laughs> I'll start from one. Oh, oh, they're going like five as okay, okay. I was confused. It's cause she is tall and I'm like five seven. Uh -huh. I'll go four, three, two, one. <laughs> I'll start from one. I'm gonna say one. Uh, Good job, my nigga. guy oh he's asian yo what's up with you guys what's wrong with the turtleneck uh i mean they're going off based on outfits which is yeah i literally did the same thing let me go back yeah, no. so sweet three and then two she had some sort of kardashian vibe going on oh brother it's like that's what i said and then um i would say number five would be her not my type love the hair though number you keep saying not my type People keep saying not my type when it comes to her. But whenever it's like all the other girls, they just say, oh, outfit, PhD, blah, blah, blah. I don't care, bro. She's bad. She's so Before sorry. I would say it would be her. It's a little bit on the quiet You're side. You're bugging. Uh, it's number three, I would say her. Because she's a little too tall for me, I would say. Maybe a lot taller than I am. <laughs> I love her style. Love the long jacket. And of course, number one. Uh, number was I? It's like five. Like okay, number five, there you go. Number five, yeah, I would yeah. say it would be you, not only because she's my girlfriend, but because I just love simple. Yeah. And that's what. Isn't five supposed to be the worst? Yeah, she's there. <laughs> now was must individually rank the girlfriends. Thank you! That, like, do it yourselves! Like, you know damn well your girl is not the hottest. Nah, nah, it's possible that your girl's the hottest there, bro. Yeah, it's because, never mind, I'm not gonna say it. I, I do not care. They're just gonna choose the girlfriends, what's the point? I'm just letting y'all know y'all beautiful, okay? <laughs> we just, know. Okay, just making sure. But I gotta be brutally honest somehow. I like him, he's cool. Okay. For number 
one, she would be that one person I would go to if I need any support, any love, and... It'd be uh, so fucking I'm funny like, if he just was talking, like, imagine if, like, number one was her, and he was like, she's the type of person that I would go to for love and support, and she's just like, yeah, he's talking about me, guys. If I need any support, any love, and I like simplicity. Number two, I love the fit. Number three, cool socks. <laughs> Number four, she's pretty cool too. And number five, pretty cool also. You know, it's just not my type. No hard feelings though, yo. Oh dear. <laughs> number one, we have a very special connection. Probably one of the most beautiful, caring, and really amazing person. <laughs> um, two, I think she. Uh, don't say that. that. Don't say she has a. Ugh! Cool Kardashian look. Um, three as well, good looking, but a bit. On the shire end, four, she seems like a very caring person. And five, not quite my vibe, but great personality as well. For number one, I um, absolutely adore her, and I think she's the most beautiful girl in the world, and she's like the most free thinking person I've ever met in my life. And then two, she seems very mature for her age. Three, she's also very intelligent. Um, Why did he write number six? I'm not two, a six, bro. Super mature for age three. Look at this guy, bro. Like he can't even count the girls correctly. See, that's why that that's why his girl needs to be my girl, right? Cause you know, girls want a guy that can count, right? I'm just saying, bro. She's also very intelligent. Um, that's just me though. And four. Uh, she's super sweet. She kind of knows her place and who she is. And it's very cool. <laughs> that could go very. <laughs> that, if you say she knows her place, look, that could have went very south. <laughs> Y'all are bugging, bro. She is pretty as hell. Explanation needed. One on one, the best. You know. Uh, number two, she looks like Olivia Rodrigo. Uh, I put number three because personality is cool, really chill. She's a vibe. And number four, just because she's simple, and I like what she said she was doing for a living and stuff. And then number five, I just put at the bottom. You know, not my type, but she's really smart, so that's cool too. So number one, it's a little biased, but this woman is. Super divine and deserves all my time. Two, and I like her outfit and her hair. Three, kind of the same. Four, this person's like athletic and motivated. And then five, no certain reason, just someone's got a blast. I like that guy! Sorry, sorry. I like that though. The girls will now be rearranged by the. Okay, I don't think we can care. I don't think we care about this. That's so ass, bro. Oh, wait, no. This is literally what I said, except she's here and then she's lost. Oh, brother. Whatever. Yeah, I don't care about what they have to say. Dude, Jubilee says some weird shit sometimes. Look at this shit, bro. I'm sure it's made by black people, but I mean, what you know, why else wouldn't it be? But look at this shit. Who is not biracial? There was a, there's a lot more when it comes to this shit, too. Ranking by blackness. Who the fuck makes this shit? There's more, bruh. There's more. Trust me, there's more. Whatever. But thank you guys so much for watching. You guys don't want to go ahead and subscribe to the like button. I love you so much, bro. And, you know, I might give you a kiss if you want, bruh. I, I would. Please? No? Damn it!